until the humbucker came in and took their place. Now, we all as tone junkies are spending most of our time trying to find the perfect PAF sound. But something that never really occurred to me is, what is the perfect P90 sound? Now, I've had a lot of P90s in my time, guitars, and um, I never really thought about P90s in the same way that I think about humbuckers, quite frankly. Uh, you know, if I got a P90 guitar, I've never really thought about changing the P90s out for something else. Lily really Franklin's always comes to mind when it comes to uh, P90s. And I have to say that um, this guitar is no exception. <laughs> I, you know, I really, I can't say what is, you know, the defining definitive P90 sound. Because, you know, I really never looked into it that much. Uh, one thing that I have learned uh, since I've uh, received this guitar is that I love the sound of it. You know, I can get just about every sound that I want in terms of uh, some of my recordings that I've done and basically, you know, one and done with this guitar. I can get it all through these P90 pickups and that really surprised me. I kind of played through uh, some of my recordings. Uh, just to see if I can match the tones of these P90s with those recordings, and yes, they really, really, I could get very close. Which made this uh, a guitar that I really like to consider that if I were to start playing live, uh, to tell you the truth, this might be, uh, this guitar or one like it, uh, may be the very thing uh, to answer all my questions about, uh, well, do I want to take three guitars with me? Do I want to take two? <laughs> you know, and that's not something that really I want to do. I want to have one guitar, one amp, and one gig bag full of pedals, and I'm off to the races. But um, I think that this guitar really, if I were to start playing live, Now, I will talk a little bit about this guitar. Uh, it's been done to death on YouTube. It's pretty much well established that this unsung factory Epiphone uh, 56 Gold Top is probably one of the better guitars that came out of the Korean factories during that time. As a matter of fact, these weren't just made in Korea, they were also made in China too. Having had a chance to play both a Chinese one and now having a chance to play a Korean one, I have to say there are things about the old Korean ones that are far, far better in my opinion. I like the tuners better. Uh, the tuners on the unsung guitars uh, are actually uh, pretty nice. I do believe that these are Gibson uh, vintage, uh, unbrand uh, unbranded on the back, but these are Gibson tuners that they put on this guitar. And one of the other things that I like about this guitar is the overall feel of the neck. Now, a lot of these necks on this guitar, if you go on the internet, you'll see that some people say that they're thin. Some people will say that they're chunky. I think this has a lot to do with where it was made. I think the Chinese made ones were a thinner, faster neck, as opposed to these older Korean unsung factory ones. I have to say this feels like a transition neck. Not quite a 59 neck, not quite a 60s neck, uh, somewhere in between, and I like that. It's got the chunkiness of a 59, 
uh, but without the outrageousness that you could get in a Transition 5859 neck. Uh, I, I kind of like this a lot better. So again, all over the place in terms of the necks on these, so that's something that you should be aware of. If you are looking to purchase one, uh, ask the seller uh, where was it made. Uh, again, the Chinese ones seem to have the thinner necks. Uh, this is just my uh, opinion, having looked at a few. And the Korean ones have a slightly thicker, what we would consider to be more 59-ish Les Paul neck. More closer to what this originally was, because in all honesty, uh, I've played a few 1956 Les Pauls, actual ones, and uh, the necks on them were quite chunky. They were quite girthy. They were 58 necks. 57, 56, 57, and 58 necks were pretty much all identical, in my opinion. Um, so there's that. Uh, I just wanted to take a few minutes just to share this with you. Um, the construction on this seems to be basically uh, solid. I, I have to say that I've got nothing. I don't even mind the older style headstock on these. Actually, it looks pretty cool. A lot of people are making a lot to do about the new Gibson headstocks being on Epiphones. But you know what? I kind of like this older one. I, I kind of like this. This works for me. So as an overall instrument, if you're looking to get one, uh, just as a cursory uh, kind of uh, advice to you, I'd say play a few if you can. If you can't, uh, get it and uh, see if you like it. It's not for everybody. A P90 guitar is not for everybody, I have to say, if you're into Les Pauls. Uh, but I think that with the variety of sounds that you can get with P90s, the variety of different styles of music that you can play with P90s, it might be something worth taking a look into. Like I said, I'm pretty sold on this. Uh, a lot of the criticisms will be with the bridge pickup that's a little bit on the uh, light side. <laughs> compared to the neck. But I think um, it's just a matter of making your adjustments and knowing how to adjust the pickups on this. Just like anything else, you really it's a learning curve to it. So if you're finding problems with the bridge pickup and you have one of these and you're finding problems with the bridge pickup, think about lifting it up a little bit. It worked for me and uh, as you saw all that... <laughs> there really to speak of. And uh, that's about it for this today. I just wanted to share this with you. I also wanted to try out my new camera and see if I like it or not. <laughs> see if you guys uh, think that the video quality has improved or gone down. Uh, but it was an opportunity today to do a couple of things. Uh, one of them is just to quickly talk about this unsung factory P90 gold top uh, Epiphone. Uh, really, I play a lot of Les Pauls guys, and this one is quickly becoming one of my favorites. Epiphone P90 Gold Top, wonderful guitar, love it a lot. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I would love to have you join the community. We're growing here every day. If you like this video and its contents, hit the like button. That also helps with the YouTube algorithms. It helps boost us up a little bit, get more eyes on it, and that's always a good thing. And until the next one, you guys take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.